What's good, everybody? It is your boy, the Super Triple J E T here, and it's been a minute since I did like a room tour thing, and because I moved to another room or whatever, so I think it's like a perfect time to basically show what I have with the setup, my new posters that I have. Some of y'all who've seen previous ones probably recognize some of the things I have, but whatever. Without further ado, let's get this started. So, uh, like I said, I've done this plenty of times already, but uh, I'm just basically going to talk about the figures again. So, we got the whole Gotham City Sirens right here. Um, two of them were gifts. And I bought one of them. I just don't remember which one I bought. I think I bought Poison Ivy over here. But yeah, we got the whole Gotham City signs right here. And, you know. And you're going to see a lot in this video that uh, I have a couple of Harley Quinn merchandise here. That, you know, whatever. She's my favorite female character in DC. So, yeah. So, we got the, the Bella Shrine. You know, when you play Skyrim, you know. I worship the Bella, you know, I know some of y'all are Talos worshippers or whatever, but the Bella, then we got, we got Super Saiyan Rose, um, what's funny about this one is there, there was a stand, and you can see right here, there was a stand, but it broke, but I'm like, I don't know, Super Saiyan Rose, I know a lot of people might give me shit for it, but it, uh, Super Saiyan Rose is my favorite Goku Black, sorry. Goku Black is my favorite protagonist in Dragon Ball. So, um, you know, I had to. Then, over here, we got the minifigs over here of Kingdom Hearts characters. These are all from Kingdom Hearts 3, from the Heartless to the Toy Story group. We got King Mickey. Uh, we got our Nurse Sora. And I have two of the um, Monsters, Inc. Uh, group. I, I thought I had Goofy, but I guess not. I'm missing Goofy, but they don't sell anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, a Harley Quinn pop figure. Um, what's interesting about this one is, I, this is the first one I ever bought. But I bought this around a day before Injustice 2 came out, but it's out of the box. And I think I haven't f fucked it up yet. But as you can see, for the rest of these, I usually keep them in boxes now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what these. this is called. I don't know what these are called, but this was a gift also. Um, we got the nineteen the nineteen sixties Batman, and we got Harley Quinn, and then a lot of people don't know this about me, but if you can see in the corner, I have a Charlie Brown bobblehead. I'm a huge Charlie Brown fan. I don't really talk about it that often, but I love Charlie Brown and you know the whole Peanuts gang and everything. But yeah, I have a Charlie Brown bobblehead. This was also a gift. Uh, I, I, my aunt gave it to me. Uh, because she has grandkids and whatever, and you know, they, at the time the Peanuts movie was out, um, and you know, McDonald's had McDonald's gives all toys and stuff. And this came with one, and I was like, "Yo, this is cool. I love Charlie Brown," and I got this as a gift. I have another one exactly like that in my car. Um, then we got a couple Star Wars joints over here. Uh, we got Ahsoka. Uh, this is from uh, this is from the last season, the Clone Wars. I got this at GameStop. Obviously, it's right here. I got a few. I got this last year. Funny enough, this is, I think, no, 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 no. Is, I was gonna say this is the newest pop figure. No, it's not. I have one newer one. But yeah, we got Soga. We got Ray Skywalker. Um, a lot of people give her a lot of shit. Whatever. I I love Ray. Um, she's my third favorite Jedi. I know you're gonna, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Too high, my nigga, too high. Yeah, third, third favorite Jedi. We got the, we got the Mandalorian squad over here. Great show. I can't wait for season three. Super excited. We got best girl from Avatar, Azula. Best girl. I don't want anyone. I want fuck Tylee, Azula. Yes, sir. We got vampire Batman over here. Then we got this water bottle of of Sakura. I don't use it anymore. I used to, but it's broken on the top. Uh, I think I, t I mean, it, I mean, technically still works, but it's broken for the top. I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck with it anymore. But I got this from what was it, lunchbox? What it was called? And I just saw it there. I'm like, I have to buy it. Have to. Um. Uh, then we got the the Tom Holland Spider Man. Actually, these are reverse. Hold the fuck up. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had that one. I'll I'll talk about it right now. I forgot. I had the 
Fortnite joint. But, uh, yeah, uh, what was this? Far From Home, No Way Home. I bought this. A homie gave me this. Uh, I'm kind of pissed because I could have had the Homecoming one up here. Missed opportunity, but, you know. We got this Batman plushie, or yeah, plushie, what the hell you call it? And then we got the homie Jonesy over here. Uh, I probably need to put the plushie somewhere else to um, deal with that. And then the last one I want to show is the homie Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, I bought this. I remember this. Uh, I saw it. I had to take it. You know, I had to, you know. Uh, but yeah, we got the, the homie Spider-Man right there. So we got... The figures up here, but I have two more. Uh, they're on my desk. So first, we got a freaking Alduin right here. Uh, this was a gift also. And I said, hey, well, let's put it here. And I also got Yuki. Fucking Yuki. Man, RIP Yuki. But um, yeah, those are the figures I have here. Do I have any more? I doubt it. But... We're done with the figures. Let's go with the posters because I have a crap ton. First of all, we got the man, the myth, the lightning rod, the flash. So y'all already know how much I really like the flash show, even though it's uh, not good. But yeah, I really like the flash show. And I bought this a few years ago. And I'm pretty sure this is the season four costume just because he has the zipper in the middle. Next, we got this RE2 remake poster, and this one is custom made. This one was from 2019, and I got this because obviously the game just came out, and I didn't really have a Resident Evil poster in my room. So I decided to go with Resident Evil 2 remake, you know, one of the best remakes ever created. Don't at me. Then we got this Naruto poster that I got back in 07, 08, somewhere around there. And I think this is the oldest poster in my room. And this poster, if y'all do not know, it came from a Naruto magazine that had a, a collection of about 11 posters, that I cur if I remember correctly. And I don't know what happened to all of them. I remember they were all laminated. And I remember I hung all of them. But yeah, but this is the one I kept. And I think this was the only one that wasn't back and forth. And then right here, we got the Assassin's Creed Origin poster. I know you can't see it because it's behind my TV. But, yeah, we got the Assassin's Creed Origin poster. And what's funny about this poster, or not really the poster, but this game, is that Assassin's Creed Origins is the reason why I got into Assassin's Creed. Like, don't get me wrong. I played Assassin's Creed 2 and 4 prior. I think 4 was the first game I've ever played from the Assassin's Creed franchise. But, uh, that didn't really get me into the series. But Origins, I don't know what happened. The gameplay when I saw an E3 was amazing. And I was like, now nah, I got to buy this game. I had to. And here we are today. Then we got a Deadpool poster. Um, I know I bought this back when I was in high school, I believe. Um, but y'all know, I like the character a lot, so I decided why not buy Deadpool and his whole bunch of variants. Uh, then we got the Face Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works poster. And what's funny about this poster is that I thought it was bigger when I bought it. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that small, but I said, you know, whatever. I decided to buy it. And it was around the time I got my first job, so I started just buying a bunch of stupid crap that I did not really need. Then we got the Black Panther. Uh, what is this? This is not a. This is not a poster. I I I don't, I don't know what this is exactly. But yeah, the Black Panther one. And then you could see the Harley Quinn frame. And I said already that I had a lot of Harley Quinn merch in my house. So yeah, the Harley Quinn frame. So let's go with the other side of the room. And obviously, there's more because it's a bigger wall. So let's start off with the Panic at the Disco poster. So Panic at the Disco is my favorite band or quote-unquote band because all the members left and it was only Brendan that stayed. Um, but I bought this poster a few months ago and I was kind of sad because when I bought this poster, I guess a few weeks after uh, Brendan announced that Panic at the Disco is going to be ending he's going to be done with the band. I don't know if he's going to be done with music. I hope he's not, but... He's going to be done with the band, and they're currently on their farewell tour. And I'm glad I got to see them live last year. Uh, I, I went to my first concert last year and saw them live. And 
I'm going to be honest, I'll probably be super duper miserable if I didn't go to that concert because you're telling me they, they're going to stop? Really? Um, but yeah, uh, so that's my poster and I'm really glad I got to see the concert. And then next we got the Face Day Night, a little Blade Words wall scroll that I got for my birthday back in 2018 actually. And I remember my cousin bought me this over there where he's from. Um, so you already know, I love the Faith franchise. And yes, Unlimited Blade Works is my favorite from the entire Faith franchise. So next we got Star Wars Episode Four poster. And I got this around the time I was getting to Star Wars, which was like 2015-ish. Um, but when I got this poster, I it was in between this or the Force Awakens poster, and I couldn't really decide, so I decided to just go with the the New Hope poster. I'm not gonna lie, I did regret not buying that poster. Then we got the Venom poster, and one of my homies did buy me this poster, and you can see the whole Venom squad behind everything. But let's go to the reason why I don't really regret not buying that Star Wars poster anymore, and it's because I did buy a Force Awakens poster a few months ago, actually. And I don't care what y'all say, Episode 7 is my favorite Star Wars movie of all time, so I really... I'm really glad I got to buy this poster. And yeah, it's kind of unfortunate what happened to the next two movies. Even though I do enjoy The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, I will admit that that's not really the route I would take. Or how can I say this? I didn't mind the route. I just realized it was, I really wish it wasn't changed or anything just because a lot of people got mad over The Last Jedi and whatever. So. I, I enjoyed the sequel trilogy, so it's, it's not really a big deal for me. Still better than prequels by a long shot, but, you know, it's whatever. And then we got the four posters up here. So, let's start off with the one on the top left, which is the Naruto Storm 4 poster. And I got this poster uh, when I finished pre-ordering Naruto Storm 4. Um, I got it from GameStop, and I was like, new poster? Of, co of course! I'd love to have another poster because I love posters, you, <laughs> as you can tell. So, yeah, I got this Storm 4 poster. Uh, unfortunately, the game's not really that great. Well, not really the gameplay exactly. Mostly the story was butchered so badly. I can't believe they did that. But, yeah. And then we got the whole Spider Squad over here with Peter, Miles, Gwen, and Anya. Uh, I got this poster because... At the time, and I think this is the only reason, is because I didn't have a Spider-Man poster in my wall at all. I, not now. Back in the day, I used to have a few from the Toby series. But I decided to get this because why not? You know, Spider-Man is my second favorite hero of all time. So why the hell not, you know? And then we got the DC poster. And obviously, I'm a big DC fan. So, of course, I need to get this poster. DC is still better than Marvel. So, <laughs> I'm trying to put some more fire in the fucking flame. Um, but yeah, uh, I got this during a Black Friday sale, I, I think. And then we got the Marvel poster, and this is probably a really old one. I think I got this around I don't know 2015, maybe 14, one of those. And the poster is cool. Don't get me wrong. I wanted it because my cousin had something like this. Also, it's an older version of it, but. I, I do have a problem with this poster, and it's just because none of the Fox characters are here. Like, you can see the two Spider-Man, you can see Daredevil, you can see Iron Man, but you cannot see Wolverine or the X-Men, no Fantastic Four, none of them, no Galactus, none of them are here. They're not here whatsoever, no Deadpool, and I, I, I know what happened with the whole Disney and Fox thing or whatever, but... It's not here, and it's kind of unfortunate. And to be honest, if they make another one, I, I think this could be the third version they do. If they make another one, I probably might get that and throw away this poster. But, yeah, I know it's kind of unfortunate, but it's whatever. So let's get to the last two things on this wall, which is the Wonder Woman poster. And what's interesting about this poster is that I got this around the time the movie came out. And I was deciding if it was going to be this poster or a Spider-Man Homecoming poster that came out around that time, too. And I couldn't really decide which one, but I decided, let me get Wonder Woman, because I already have a Spider-Man poster at home. But I don't have a Wonder Woman poster, who is in my top five favorite 
DC characters. So I was like, why the hell not? So I got this Wonder Woman poster, and I'm very glad I did. And then next to her, we got this Batman and Nightwing board. What are, what are, what are you called? Tell me in the comments down below where these things are called. But, yeah, I got this for my birthday, I don't know, back in 2015, 14-ish. I don't know. Next, we got the SEO Oriental Scale poster, and this one's custom-made also. Um, I really like this movie, and I will argue that it's probably the best SEO media that we've had um, ever. Like, I like this more than the two seasons before. Um, I don't know. It, it was a really interesting movie. We get to see Kirito actually train and stuff, and there was actually, like, and there was actually something to be concerned about. You know, so great movie, great movie. If you, it, I recommend anybody to watch this, even if you don't like SAO, which I know most of you don't. Check out this movie; it's great. Then we got this Injustice Two poster. Then we got a couple more posters over here, which is first we got another Harley Quinn poster. This is obviously from the Suicide Squad movie, and yeah, I can understand the movie is a huge mess and it's not super duper great. But I gotta say that even though it's bad, I could still enjoy the movie. Uh, obviously, Margot Robbie was excellent as Harley Quinn. I cannot imagine anyone else playing her. I'm looking at you, Lady Gaga. So, and then below them, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Batman. Uh, it wasn't obvious already. Like I said earlier, Batman is my favorite hero of all time. So, come on, man. Yeah, this is, I really like this poster. And right next to her, this is another, uh, it's not a poster, I don't know what this is called. Another cloth, whatever, of Harley Quinn. I got this at a flea market out of town last year. And then right next to all that, we have the Blooming to You poster. This one's custom made also. I really like this anime. And this is my favorite manga of all time. And you get to see all that in a bit. But I really do love this series and whatever. Um, it's great. Um, and then the last two posters I have here, they're both of the same person. My idol, Mr. Michael Jackson. I have the Thriller one over here that I got as a gift last year. Or was it last year? Or it was, it was two years ago I got it. Uh, I finally got it to not fall off because this thing kept falling off a lot just because I wanted to keep it in the plastic. So uh, I kept doing that. Uh, obviously, this is the Twitter album, and I'm going to say that this is not Michael Jackson's best album. It's not. It's not. His best album is over here. Bad. Michael Jackson's bad. My favorite album of all time for my favorite artist, my idol, whatever. Uh I got this poster back in 2009 for my birthday. And what's interesting about that year is that a year, uh, not a year, a month before Michael Jackson did die. Well, he got killed from his, by his doctor, a uh, manslaughter, of course. Um, but I got this. Uh, I remember my aunt bought me this for my birthday. And if y'all y'all don't know, when Michael Jackson died, uh, well, I was... I was not nine yet. I was turning nine the following month. Uh, I was fucking heartbroken. I, I could not believe it. I was miserable. And I don't know. It, 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 I don't know. It was just way too much for a brother to handle at the time. All right. So we got the manga collection. Uh, sorry with the chair. I know it's squeaking. But when I say I love Blooming to You, I was not kidding. I have the whole manga set. I got the visual novels over here. Not the visual novels. The fuck? The light novels over here. I got the comic anthology over here. And I got the DVD box set over here that I got for my birthday um, back in 2019, was it? I think I got it in 2019. I'm not sure. But, yeah, we got uh, more mangas over here. Uh, I got the whole set for this. I haven't even read this one, unfortunately. I read... This book last year, the Soka story, great book. I recommend anyone to watch it. Um, I have this that I'm not really talking about most of these because you kind of guess the whole the whole thing about this. And then we got citrus over here. Um, I'm probably planning to buy the whole set for citrus. And then one last thing from this shelf. Yeah, I know there's DVD there, but that's not the big thing. I could care less about those DVDs right now. But the big one is I got a uh, MetaQuest over here. 
I got this last year for Christmas, actually. Uh, yeah, we got a Meta Quest. I played a few games of this, and I got a big hour review for one of the games I played on this. And I'm just going to say the game I played for this, I criticized a few years ago. Not a few years ago. It was like, uh, I mean, it was a few, two years ago. I criticized, but I ain't going to say I eat my words. But, yes, I got um uh the Meta Quest 2, and I... And I really enjoy it. I really like the game. Or the... I really like the uh, headset. And last but definitely not the least, it's the PC setup. Um, but yeah, this is basically my my life right here. You know, where I do the YouTube. I do my classes. Everything's here. Everything I do is here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm currently recording a video. And this is not for... This is not for like an upcoming video. This is going to come out towards the end, the end of March. So, oh, uh, you'll look forward to that. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be my one of my favorite videos I make because of the passion, whatever. Uh, then we got a, a black web keyboard. I'm kind of damaged over here. It's like a little hole it's from a uh, hot glue. Then I got I actually got a new mic recently. The Shore. The five, sure, uh, the short MV7. There we go. Uh, I like the mic, also got a new arm, but a sure MV7. It was time to get a new mic, plus, my blue Yeti was already uh, mess messing up, so it was about time to get one. Then I got uh, this Logitech mouse. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know the name of it, I'm not gonna pretend I do. Uh, I could check where I bought it. Uh, I bought it. I know I bought it on Amazon, but I could tell you I could check it later on. But yeah, we got that. It's a nice mouse. I really like it. Uh, lasting me is probably the longest lasting mouse I ever had. Kind of dying already. It double clicks sometimes. So, and then we got these headphones. Don't know what brand this is. Well, these are the headphones I use during the podcast or whatever. But and videos, obviously, you know, when I live stream. Uh, but yeah. And the last thing is, um, I have an HDMI splitter, um, just for the fact that I could, um, play games or watch movies from my TV while connecting to my, connected to my computer. I also got this, um, with a PS5 controller right here, um, I have this, uh, I forgot how long this, how long the wire is, things like I think I bought a seven foot wire. I'm not sure, but you could see from over here, the wire does reach all the way to my computer. So if I want to play video games, cause I, I usually haven't played, um, I haven't played like video games on my bed in such a long time. So I decide why not do that? You know? So I'm glad I did. It's really cool. But think that is it so i hope you guys and that is it i hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog is this, this kind of the vlog I, I don't know and yeah i know you kind of noticed that there is a section of the video where i had to dub it over because <laughs> uh the audio was really bad and you know I, I just kind of had to so so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you for watching become a member i'm out deuces